What's up, guys? Welcome to the Mega Screamcast. My name is Beans, and joining me today we have Renaissance Nerd. How you doing? I'm doing fan freaking tastic. That is the spirit. We've also got Flamingo Dog. My power level's over 9,000 tonight, boys. And we have Z Man. How we doing? Pretty good over here. How about you? Fantastic. All right, Renaissance, why don't you hit us up with some lovely topic? Well, first we should start off with uh, what games have everybody been playing and any stories to tell? Beans, what games have you been playing? Lately, all I've been playing is Battlefield 3 because I just bought the online passcode for that thing just because I wanted to play it, and it's amazing. Any stories to tell from your multiplayer exploits? Um, other than me getting utterly destroyed by tanks, no, not really. What about you, Flamingo Dog? What have you been playing in the last week? Uh, I finally got my hands on Mortal Kombat and Need for Speed to Run, so gave those two a run. Well, no pun intended. Any stories to tell from your exploits? Uh, Mortal Kombat is, oh my god, so fun. I, I actually know how to do moves. It's a lot more user-friendly. I love it. And Need for Speed to Run... No, not too many exploits, because I haven't played it online, because I don't have the stupid online code, but I can say that it has been a very long time since a video game has literally pissed me off physically, and this game did it. And Z-Man, what have you been playing in the last week? I've been stuck in or playing Minecraft, and I've been making a scaled replica of the Death Star that I'm going to blow up. That's always the spirit. And for myself, I've been working in our Minecraft world, too, uh, preparing for the next Parallel Peril episode. I've also been playing uh, Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning, and I've been playing Tribe to Descend. Oh, and League of Legends. Uh, the other day in League of Legends, I was playing with, uh, with Shadow Path, who, who you've seen in some of our videos. Uh, and the other team was going to kill the Baron. And they were, like, way ahead of us. They, he, Shadow Path just, like, jumped in and got, like, the last hit. It was, like, fantastic. It was, like, the most pro steal I've ever seen of the Baron. Sounds I didn't understand awesome. a word of that. You played. You, we have videos of you playing. Okay, do you remember in those videos how often I died and what I did? I usually ran around in circles and hoped to kill things with a giant arrow. We and you never did succeeded. Did. I did not six. I think I got like three kills my whole like. No, we should go back and like tally up in all of our videos how many kills you got. I, I'm I don't think the number would be above two. Three. Okay, I'm going to announce the number next time, next podcast, next week. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm anyway, not gonna do this, but you can. Shepard's having PC problems, so we can't. Uh, he won't be joining us unless he's lucky, but. For now, he's not here. Although, the last week ended out with uh, me and him going about on about uh, first-person shooters and which of them are good. So, let, let's get everybody's take on that. Well, in, in fairness, I think it really depends on the person's definition of what makes a good first-person shooter. Well, obviously, it's all an opinion thing. Like, everything's an opinion thing. Because God knows everybody plays Call of Duty, but personally, I don't think it's that great. Yeah, that's why you're level 80. I am a player level 80, but I refuse to prestige. Well, the thing about Call of Duty, it's like, there, there's been a new one every year since Modern Warfare, I think. It, it's becoming, like, Madden. There's not many changes. It's extremely easy. The FOV's locked at, like, 90. Um... There's, like, no recoil on the guns. It, it's basically the iPod of the video game world. I mean, it, it's... You get gun, shoot man. I mean, there, there's... I, I'm not saying a game should have, like, the steepest skill... Uh, what is it? Uh, not skill ceiling, but it, it's extremely pick the, pick, quick to pick up and play, and I'm not saying it should have, like, a steep learning curve, but it has. Oh. I think it also has a low skill ceiling. Well, he, perfect example, this game, half my kills are from just random grenade tosses. Exactly, I mean, 
Um, and it has things like kill streaks and death streaks. First of all, a death streak? Why are you going to reward somebody for sucking? You know what really annoys me with those games, though, is that they're always so stupid in the fact that they never release a beta for the multiplayer. So when it comes out, there's so many bugs to fix, and they take their sweet-ass time fixing them. Why don't they just release the beta? They don't want to fix them. That costs money and time. You're going to buy it anyway. And that's the the problem. I mean, that's the that's the mindset. But I mean, look Except at every game that selects that like you know sets out a beta to itself. It doesn't have as many problems to fix right off the bat. Right, but those are companies that actually care about fixing the problem. You're talking about Call of Duty, which I believe is Activision or is it EA? I think it's Activision, Activision and Activision? yeah, Activision and Infinity Ward. Infinity so yeah, Ward. Activision doesn't give a crap. And Treyarch when it's some of the game. Yeah. Every other one tends to be Treyarch. That's how they do it, I think. I think it's Activision, then Treyarch, then Act like they keep switching. Well, I know Activision has been the main one with the uh the the modern warfares and then Treyarch's been doing like Black Ops. So Yeah, they just announced uh, Black Ops too, so I think Treyarch's in the next running. Yeah, um, I'm not looking forward to it. Really? I liked Black Ops. That was like the only like Call of Duty single player I really liked. Really? I hated Black Ops. I thought I hated the multiplayer, but I thought the single player was like really good. Oh, well. I agree with that one. Yeah. How long was yeah. the single player campaign? It was maybe like six or seven. I mean, I beat Veteran for myself and then my friend for like just the achievements. I did it in a day. I mean, it wasn't over... Those games would be getting so easy on veterans. That's another problem in and of itself. But well, what do you look for in a first-person shooter? Let's go around the circle. Beans? I don't, like, what are you talking about? Is it, like, looking for as in... I mean, what are the characteristics you like in a first-person shooter, and what don't you like? Balance. Like... In Modern Warfare 2 with the damn grenade launchers, if I got killed by a grenade launcher one more time from across the map, I was gonna cry. Do you, do you like the fact that in Modern Warfare 3 with the, with the the kill feed, it, they removed the logo for the grenade launcher to try to like cover it up? It was oh god, you know Modern Warfare 3 at least fixed most of the grenade problems because like I don't really get killed by grenade launchers all that much anymore. So is there anything besides balance? Is there like a gameplay style you like? Um, I don't know, because, like, every game is becoming, like, a clone of the other one. They all have the same game types, they all have, you know, aim down sights now, they all have, like, everything. Well, what about you, Flamingo Dog? What do you look for in a first-person shooter? I look for first-person view and shooting people in the face. That's a spirit. That's insightful. Yeah, but, uh, I guess I could go a little more in-depth if you'd like. Probably. Ah, uh, fine. Well, it, that, with along with uh, beans, I do enjoy balance. But perfect example, Halo is one of my favorite first-person shooters, and that's for one very major reason. It's the replay value, but not because the controls are really good, not because you know it has the most amazing balance, because God knows it doesn't have balance. It's the comic value of it. Have you ever played Halo and just laughed your ass off at certain things that happened in that game? That game has oh, balance? Yeah. Well, that, that's just playing with friends, because, like, I can play a game I, I can't play. Like, I hate solo with friends, but, like, I can play almost anything if I'm playing it with a friend. Like, yeah, I no, play Halo with Beam. No, but even when I've just played normally online, some of the glitches that have happened in that game, some of the just kills I've seen, they're hilarious. Like, you can't get those kind of kills in Call of Duty. Oh, well, I've gotten some pretty good ones from Call of Duty myself. Well, then, um, what, what's your take on it, Z-Man? Well, in my opinion, a first-person shooter needs to, of course, be balanced. I liked a lot of the futuristic-style stuff that they've added to some of them, but I also like the more realistic modern-day styles. So, uh, for myself... I like a, a game that it's fast and team-based. That's why I like things like Team Fortress and Tribes and Quake. Of course, balance is important. And uh, 
some games are hard to balance in multiple modes. Like, for instance, the Tribes uh, Ascend Beta, I think the game is perfectly balanced for Capture the Flag, but there, there's issues with some classes in Deathmatch. But uh, overall, like, I like moving quickly. I like the kills to feel like I accomplished something. With, with Call of Duty or something, it's just a hit-scan weapon. I point guns, very little recoil, a guy dies. I, I, I hold trigger, I click you know, mouse button. You know, but, like... like, with, like that kind of that kind of makes me think about something else that's kind of related to first person shooters but in all games in general what do you guys think of like arcade feel versus realistic feel well both can work out really well like i i was a, i'm a fan of team fortress 2 and i'm also a fan of like rainbow 6 it it's just all about the execution because i mean now, don't get me wrong, some games are really fun. Battlefield 3 with the semi-more realistic, I mean, as realistic as a first-person shooter gets online anyway. It, it was fun. With the Frostbite 2 engine, it looks amazing and works really well. But Need for Speed The Run uses that same engine, and I actually don't have that much fun playing The Run because, to a point, I enjoyed Need for Speed's arcade style. But because the run is still arcade, but it has a little more realistic feel to it, it, it takes away a lot of the fun and adds way more frustration. I think the problem there is it's trying to be both things at once, and that just doesn't work. No, and I, I can tell you one thing that I hate most about that game is the cops. I can't tell you how many times these cops have magic powers, because no matter what you do to get away from them, they have twice the notch you do, or like three engines in their trucks, and they'll catch up to you, and they will mess you up in two seconds. To be fair, you also just compared a racing game to a first-person shooter game? That's like, what the fuck? No, I was talking realistic versus arcade. But that's my yeah. point. Like, to me, I like a realistic shooter, but I like an arcade-style racer. He was also pointing out that they use the same engine. Yes. yes. But anyway, back on my point, um, one of the reasons like I like the Tribes games cause is because I'm moving at like 200 kilometers an hour, and my weapon is a projectile, so I have to leave the target. And then when it actually hits them, it's like the most satisfying thing in the world. If I just point at guy and hold gun trigger, gun button, it's, it's not as satisfying to me. Speaking of uh, speaking of satisfying moments in games, what is some of the most satisfying moments for you? Like when you do a certain thing and it may be a certain game, what is that thing? I can tell you right now. I have the Bladder of Steel achievement in Rock Band Two. Oh yeah. Okay, and That's for those of us, yeah, for those of us who don't know what that is. Essentially, you have to beat the entire endless set list, which is every single song in the game without pausing and without failing, and I did the whole thing on Expert. Yeah, that's like six hours of me just standing there playing the guitar. It was a pain in the ass. More like a pain in the arms. You have no idea. I couldn't, like, move my left arm for, like, a while. I had a band in a rock band called the Upper Protozoic. Well, I like to name my bands after geological time periods. <laughs> Mine was called Tie-Dye Warfare. I had the Joker in mind, but anyway. So, uh, Flamingo Dog, what's, what's something satisfying for you in a game, then? That's, that's a little tricky, because I'm trying to think of, like, what are some things that I've done lately that, that qualify as satisfying? And it may be satisfying, like Mortal Kombat, when I got a fatality for the first time. That was crazy satisfying. But afterwards, when I figured out, you know, how to do them, and I kept doing them, kind of lost its, uh, its, 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 like, shimmer. It lost its spectacularness. And then, uh, like, another thing would be, like, in Halo, how an assassination. It's fun to do now, but because I do them so often, they're not as satisfying as they used to be. Silence. 
Yeah, I know. I guess I just ruined the whole mood, didn't I? You did. You ruined the whole flow. Yet. Go ahead, Z-Man. Your turn. Some of the more satisfying things I find in video games happen to be explosions. They're always fun. <laughs> At least he's simplistic. What about you, Renaissance? Uh-oh. Can anyone else hear him? No, he's a ghost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, spaghetti -o. There we go. Yes, I can hear you. My mic got muted. Fantastic. Oh. Live TV problems happen. So that's... I was talking during the whole silence, but see, that's not the see, this is this is why we need beta testing. We could have fixed those kind of problems before all this happened. If we just did a beta podcast? Oh, yeah. We can't do a beta podcast. Nobody listens to him to give feedback. This is true. <laughs> That's a lie. I listen to them. Okay. You and nine other people. Well, you're really giving us credit there. I think, yeah. like, three of those nine are me. Okay, this time we're shooting for the gold. 20. Anyway, what satisfies me? You, you know what satisfies me? When I, when I can get up and play StarCraft for more than two hours on the ladder. That's like, it's like the scariest thing in the world, the ladder on StarCraft 2. Like the find match button, like just getting myself to press it, it it's like, it's, I, I'll have like a heart attack before I do it sometime. No, wait, wait. You know what? I, I got something that's satisfying. It's not something so specific, it's more general. And it should, hopefully it kind of makes up for, uh, my downer into silence thing. Just go! Shut up! I want to explain myself. But, uh, it's... Do you ever play a game... No, I know you have. I'm not even going to ask. You know that moment in a game where you hit a point and it's like a roadblock. All of a sudden, you were doing okay and you hit that point. You're like, why can't I beat this guy? Or why can't I get past this part? You know that moment Games, when the you dice find... and Gunstar Heroes. Oh my god. Fuck those guys so much. That stupid laser beam and that stupid little midget bastard thing. Yeah, no, you say but... that. We were playing Gunstar Heroes yesterday. Well, I'm just saying, though, you know, those moments when you finally beat that, that part, that enemy, and it's enough to make you, like, touch down your controller and then flip off the screen as hard as you can and be like, yeah, now what? Yeah, we didn't beat him. We died. Yeah. Oh, well, that sucks for you. Yeah. Actually, I can tell you something satisfying. When I'm playing Minecraft, and I've spent, like, 15 hours in survival mode, and I just look at what I've made, and I'm like, I did that. Legit. Booyah. On that note, we should start the legit section of our uh, server soon. We should. Well, it's it started. It's just not fleshed out. You you know some people are you know what you know what they would say their most satisfying moments of the game are the release while watching like the strip tease lap dance in Duke Nukem Forever. That game is just horrendous. I don't even know. Nobody why has ever used satisfying in Duke Nukem Forever in the same sentence ever. Congratulations. I just did. I just said a, I just set a uh, a new standard right there. Look at that. I don't know Duke Nukem Forever is just bottled disappointment. Except the lap dance. You could take the $10 you'd spend on Duke Nukem Forever and you'll get a real lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say about it. It'd be by an Asian whore with a penis, but it'd still be better than that. Game. No, I would take penis over Duke Nukem Forever any day. That's what I just said. It'd still be better than that fucking game. Anything is better than that game. It's like, right, I would anyway. play Superman 64 to completion. No, 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 I was just, I was just about to say, I, I was just about to say, how, just before you said Superman, I was about to say, how can you say that when Superman 64 exists? But no, no, you had to be a dick. I had to beat you to it! I remember playing that game with, like, a bunch of friends. I was like, you're a Superman oh flying God. through rings! No, 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 you're Superman trying to fly through rings. Oh yeah, you couldn't really do it, could you? No, the controls were horrible. 
Anybody ever play Lodestar, The Legend of Tully Bodine on Sega CD or PC? That sounds made up. No, I have this game. I bought it for 50 cents. It's like the biggest waste of money I've ever... It, it's not worth 50 cents. Like, I want my 50 wow. cents back. You know what's See, not worth the money? Is that stupid game you have on the Dreamcast with that, like, fish with a face. Seaman oh. is a great game. <laughs> hey, like I said last week, Seaman is coming back. I wish I was kidding. That game is creepy. Probably, probably connect enabled. Uh, I, I, I could swear it was for a handheld. I could be wrong, though. Somebody has to look that up at some point. I really hope so. That way okay, he, you here's a, a section. Bridge. What about, uh, worst ideas for a Kinect game? Go! Like, wait, wait, wait. Like, like a real Kinect game, or just, like, in general, like, what is the worst thing we could make? Make up a game that is the worst idea you could possibly think of for a Kinect game. Uh, does porn count? Like, pornography games? Yes, Japan has made them. I know they have. Shut up. No, have you ever heard of Idolmaster in Japan? It's on the Xbox. Uh, you, you set it up, and, like, the, the girls in the game will send you text messages in real life. What? Why don't I own this game? <laughs> like, you'll be away from your Xbox, and your Xbox will be freaking texting you. Well, he, it, it gets lonely. It gets lonely, just like everything else. Or also, around the time of Seaman, they were, they were making a game for the original Xbox called NUDE, Natural Ultimate Digital Experiment, where you got this, like, robot girl and, like, taught her how to live. But it never came out. So it was basically like, Hey You Pikachu with some hot robot girl. No, because Hey You Pikachu, like, there's, like, no goal to it. You yell at Pikachu, you tell him to die, he plays a trumpet, you move on. This actually had, like, a goal. It was, like, Seaman. I don't even have to make up a game for the Kinect. Have you ever tried playing Forza 4 with the Kinect? It's horrible. It hurts my arm. Oh, dude, do you know how many times I crashed? I know, I was there. I know you were there. When, it's like, okay, now I just gotta, I gotta hit the brake, and I gotta turn right just a little bit. No, turn, turn, why are you going straight? No, uh-oh, oh, there's a wall. You can't Ow. hit the brake, you can't hit the gas, you can't hit the brake, you can't shift, you only can steer with your arm. And by steer, we mean go straight into the nearest wall. Well, yeah. To be fair, that's what I do anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I play Forza, you know what I do? I make my Pikachu VW Beetle, I have max acceleration. You know you, how you win with max acceleration? You just make everybody else crash all the time. And then you You're making me want yep. to do this. Well, that's what... In racing games, I have a habit of... Uh, if I'm flying out a turn and I see another opponent making that turn, I don't even slow down. I'll just ram you right just into my opponent, him. and I bumper car my way around the around the turn at full speed. You see, I'm used to playing F zero. This is how we don't roll. We hover. Well, I used to play a uh, tube slider on the uh, GameCube. Tube slider would be a terrible connect game just with the name. <laughs> uh, t- you know, now that I think about it, tube slider can almost sound like a sexual innuendo. It's not almost. almost. No. You're just, uh, you're... It's basically like F-Zero, just not F-Zero. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how that works. So what yeah. other topics did we have? Game uh, music. Uh, oh, okay, I'll start this one off. So in uh in Lollipop Chainsaw <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna you know go what? uh eat a cupcake. If Power Rangers were not going through my iTunes right now, I'd be very upset. Did you ever play Power Rangers on the Sega C D? I played not. Power Rangers on N sixty four. No, I played Power Rangers on the Sega CD, and it was like one of those FMV trash games. It was just like footage from the show, but you pushed like A, B, or C at sometimes, and when like Megazord jumped up, you hit all of them as fast as you can. But like, no matter what you did, if you did nothing, the same thing would happen in the movie, but you'd lose life. So it was like, why do I always have a Sega CD-related FMV trash game? Because you're a nerd. Good call. No, but like... And you get, like, I was trying to, like, get, like, max score on this game one day because I had nothing better to do. And, like, it kept giving me lives, but I didn't see, like, my life count anywhere. 
I don't know. Don't play Power Rangers on the Sega CD. Get the Genesis version. Did anyone don't else know play... that the Power Rangers has the most amazingly epic music ever? Uh, Only the Mighty Morphin. Yeah, Mighty Morphin. Power and Rangers no, does have epic music. No, I'm Remember sorry. That song, uh, we need a hero. No, I'm sorry. I Mighty Morphin had the best theme song, but Turbo had a pretty kick-ass one too. Turbo is like after my time. Turbo was right after Mighty Morphin. Well, the first three. That's seasons after my Mighty time. Morphin. But Turbo had the worst movie ever. Oh no, Turbo was Turbo was pretty bad. I'm a little kid. Let me get in my Blue Rangers outfit and become an adult all of a sudden. But you know what? I would much rather watch Power Rangers Turbo than the 1998 Godzilla movie. Whoa. Whoa. You did not just say that. Oh, yes, I did. That movie was horrible. That is, like, my favorite movie ever. I hate you. Oh, speaking of movies, what, what's your favorite video, favorite or least favorite video game-based movie? Uh, I got least favorite right here, and this movie actually doesn't exist, but if it did exist, it would be my least favorite, the Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> that does exist. My favorite, easily, Resident Evil. No, it doesn't. He's trying to repress it. It it doesn't exist. I'm just saying, it would probably be a really bad movie if it did exist. You, you, know, all, you know what else doesn't exist? Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. We sell that for like $7. Oh, God. Seven? That that's expensive. Yeah, on Blu-ray. That's pretty. Why would you put it on Blu-ray? <laughs> Why not? They put everything on Blu-ray now. Do you know how many strippers you could have got for seven bucks? Seven. Seven. With penis. You know how many crappy movies you got with seven bucks? Just one. Just one. Who who got the, who? You know, I think you screwed that deal up. But yeah, favorite is Resident Evil, easily. No, I think uh, the Resident Evil ones are really cool, but there was something about the Silent Hill one that I really enjoyed. See, I never played the games and I never watched the movies, so I can't really say anything. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, just like every movie based on a video game really wasn't that good, but there was something, like, campy about it that I enjoyed. And to not have it, us fall into silence, I will just talk till somebody decides to say something okay, else. Okay, what about, so what something. about a game based off of a movie? What are your favorites of that? Goldeneye? My favorite was Street Fighter the movie, the game. Not Goldeneye. That, that's a good answer, Dan. Goldeneye 007 was possibly the best. That was like the best game ever made, period. <laughs> I would no. say that. The best game ever. The best game to ever be made will be Lollipop Chainsaw. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> so what do you think of the worst possible video game movie? Like, if they were going to make a movie of a video game, what would be the worst choice ever? Lollipop Chainsaw. No, that would be the greatest movie ever. Superman 64. Tetris, the movie. Tetris, the movie would be amazing. No, it's like, this summer. One mad Russian scientist saw it coming. The blocks falling everywhere! How did we get rid of them? You must line them up! Oh, wait. No, no, no. I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna say Pong, but they already made a, they already, uh, made a movie based on that. You know, back in, like, high school, we, I was making, like, a joke console called, like, the Pong-tastic. And, like, we had, like, 5,000 different versions of Pong. I think I was making fun of the Phantom. But, like, we made, like, Pong-tastic Magazine and Pong the RPG. And, like, we had, like, all these different Pongs we made up. And for, like, Pong the RPG, for, like, the, like the, the visuals, I had, like, this picture of this guy stabbing this other guy with a spear and, like, these, like, wheat fields in China for some reason. And then, like, while, my review... Wait, wait, wait. While we're on the topic, sort of, of games and movies, what is a video game that you think, if done right, you would love to see as a movie? Half-Life. Shenmue. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I, I, okay, I'm gonna totally ignore the fact that Halo fanboys have been crying for a Halo movie for, in forever, and I'm gonna say I would love a Metroid series of movies. 
Well, a Metroid movie would be pretty good. A Halo movie would be like too much over the top epic. Master Chief jumps off the moon, lands on his face, and he's fine. Have you ever seen that <laughs> YouTube video of like someone actually made like a video of Half Life? I forget what it's called. They have two of them, and like it's oh, yes, really I good. I want to see it. Yeah, but you know what? You know why I really hope they never make a Halo movie ever, and I'm being serious about this. Why? I was taking a bite of my cupcake. I got another one. Uh, I I really I really 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 don't want the uh, Halo fanboys to have a movie, big screen version of Cortana to jack off to. <laughs> I figured out what movie I'd love to see made. Legend of Zelda. Oh wait wait wait! I got a I got another movie I want to see, and this Excuse one's for my. Excuse me, princess. I, I want to see uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball as a movie. Oh, yes. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. So that would qualify as porn. <laughs> Starring Arnold porn Schwarzenegger. Oh, dude, there, there has to be a porno of that. Arnold I mean, there's Schwarzenegger a porno. is every character. I would pay to see that. I am Ooh. Arnold, get to my cock! I am Arnold, does this top match this bottom? Rah! Watch my teeth jump around. What what was that? That was like that was like an Indian accent. I know. It's Arnold Schwartz and It's Arnold Bobby. and the Quickie Mart. Oh god, we are we are totally we are totally driving this whole uh podcast away from video games. Beans, we're gonna have to send you to sensitivity training, I'm sorry. I know. And the sensitivity training involves playing 12 hours of Superman 64. Perhaps I should talk oh, about well. this the rest of the podcast. Dude, you can't they play 12 like hours of... You can't play 12 hours of Superman 64. It's impossible. Then you'll play Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh my goodness. No! No, dude, you can't do that. No, that that's just... That's wrong. I, I'll take Superman, thanks. Yeah, anyone would take Superman over that. Okay, new I, topics. Okay, lollipop chainsaw? Anyone? Anyone? How do you ban oh, someone from, from Trillo? You can't. <laughs> I, I'm here I, I, forever. I, I, I'm here forever. So, favorite you, video game music? Lollipop chainsaw. You haven't even heard the music! I ha I know the music though. It's from the lead singer of Mind with Self Indulgence. He does uh, all the boss fight music. It's going to be awesome. But oh, besides I'm that, be the, I'm going to be the dick and say the music from Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Yeah, you know, damn it, I was going to say that. So uh, yeah, you are a dick, Z man. You guys are terrible at video game music. The so, best song is Sonami no, Eru X Sanctaru from Panda Dragon Saga. Hey, 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 how can I be terrible at video game music? I five-starred Freebird, bitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, now what? Gone with the stars. Gold star that bitch. Uneasy. Thumbed up. On it's expert just... hyperspeed cheat activated. I don't want to hear See, a word. That doesn't count. Hyperspeed that totally counts. increases the uh, space between the notes. The notes don't change where they'll sit. Still, it makes you able, able to read it easier, so it doesn't count. Totally counts. But I have to say Legend of Zelda. I love the music during that. Which one? Ocarina of Time. Okay. Ex agree. I'm sorry. I think the best music... Now, don't get me wrong. Like, Halo has some of the greatest, like, full orchestra music I've heard in a game in a long time. Halo has one good song, the Malinor Mix. Like the Malinor, dude. Yeah, the but theme. I was gonna say that I've heard a lot of like video game soundtracks, like the Need for Speeds. They actually take real songs and stuff. But when it comes to like original soundtracks, I enjoy like the more classic games. Look at Super Mario. Do 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 do. Sonic owns Mario in sound. Yeah, it does. Yes, but I'm sorry that one classic. Mario tune is so addicting. I want you to try an experiment. Next time you're in New York City and you're in a crowded area, start singing the Mario theme. Someone will join in with you. 
Oh, somebody else did. Yeah, that's pretty much guaranteed to happen. That's that's almost like the uh, that's almost like the thing where if if you're around anyone who's ever watched, uh, you know what? In West Philadelphia, born and raised. And playground is where I spent most of my days. Exactly. See, who if you say that line, somebody who ever who's ever watched that show before has to continue with it. It's going in last time. Right uh, now. last time we went to karaoke, we sung that. That we did. Oh, what? I want to go to karaoke. Yeah, we went to uh, karaoke. What was that place? That... Bar. I want to go. Yeah, that was uh, that was downtown. It was really close to that uh, that other bar. I forget what it was called. I gotta ask Jack. It was probably Celtic House. Oh, um, no. guys. By the way, no, this is a, by the way, guys. This is a video game podcast. So, uh, yeah. Well, they didn't have video game music. To... <laughs> well, now we're talking about bars. Which, no, you know, we're talking about karaoke bars. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a complete. We didn't get point. anything to drink. Well, we, we asked for water, and those bastards didn't give us water. Yeah, we asked for water, and he just ran the hell away. He's like, no. So, we'll go. back to the, back to the video <laughs> game music. Though. I think one of my favorite soundtracks had to come off of GameCube. Actually, it tells us Symphonia. That that, that was pretty. That was that was awesome. Oh, you know what, what was that game? Pokemon. No, I hate Pokemon, Pokemon music. music. I Pokemon hate Pokemon battle music. Battle theme is amazing. I hate I love it. Pokemon. Oh, what about the Champion Cynthia's theme? Yes. You, you know what? I like Kingdom Hearts music too. So that's basically like Final Fantasy music. Kinda, but it's Kingdom Hearts. Or Donald Duck. Like Donald Final Fantasy Donald music, Duck. but you're looking at Donald Duck's ass. Exactly. No, you, you know, know what I don't get about Donald Duck? When he, when he goes swimming, he wears pants and no shirt, but everywhere else he wears a shirt and no pants. Well, what was the what was Disney's thing with no pants on ducks? It was only the duck characters that wore no pants. Speaking of ducks in video games, what about DuckTales, the moon theme? Dude, DuckTales had some of the best game music of all time. Who oh, the duck on the moon? Oh, 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 I got one. I'm raising my hand. Talk! Uh, did anybody ever play Battletoads, the pause music? Yes! I can't that do is, that. That is the greatest music of all time. That is good music. I've just looped that for like 10 hours before, too. Yeah, but the thing is, it has no place in the game. It's like, it's totally random, and it's awesome. Yeah, it, it's definitely a pretty amazing pause music. Speaking like, of it's pausing, so you know the Voltron game that came on Xbox Live Arcade? Yeah. Well, if you pause, it goes, the announcer all of a sudden says, We'll be right back after this short break. And then when you unpause, it goes, we are back. It was the coolest thing of the game. Wow. That's pretty sad, actually. That, that was the coolest part of the game, yeah. You know what? I want to... When they make the Deadpool movie, they're obviously going to make a Deadpool game, because God knows that's how this shit works these days. Sometimes and, it's good, uh, though. Yeah, but I want... When you pause the game, I want Deadpool to yell at you, like, Why are you stopping the action? I'm trying to kill people! Speaking of uh, narrators in like the pause screen, uh, what about uh, Leonard Nimoy in Seaman? Oh, God. Can we stop talking about that damn game? No, Mr. Now Lollipop Chainsaw. Now you know my hatred of Lollipop fucking Chainsaw. Yes, but you know what? Lollipop <laughs> Chainsaw isn't as disturbing as I'm... You take out your Lollipop, man. and I'll take out my Seaman. Ew. No. That just sounds How like a horrible thing. How is it not as disturbing? There's a scantily clad girl with a chainsaw named Lollipop Chainsaw killing things. Her name and is I was Gloria. just buying Pop-Tarts at the, at the supermarket and I didn't know whether to buy the gluten-free or the Frosted Flakes. Hey, hey, hey. Her name is not Lollipop Chainsaw. Her name is Juliet Starling. I don't care what it is. That's almost and as what, bad as Fate Lingard from Star Ocean 3. 
hey, what is disturbing about a hot cheerleader girl in a tight, skimpy cheerleader outfit wielding it's a chainsaw? It's a video compared, game. But it, you're, you're comparing a hot cheerleader girl in a skimpy cheerleader outfit to a fish with a man's face. You know what? At and least Leonard Nimoy is the narrator, and Spock fish. always wins. <laughs> and Leonard Nimoy is the voice. <laughs> no, he's not the fish's voice. He's like the narrator on like the pause screen and stuff. Or like when you kill the yeah, fish, they like yell at you. Yeah, which is really weird. Okay, oh, anyway, Spock. any other topics we have? What about giant robots? Oh god, no, no, that 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 has to be for that has to be for another episode. I can rant about giant robots. You can rant. We got Mech everything. Warrior Online coming out this year. I know, dude. Said it's time for me to sign out. And that new game from uh, Day One Studios. And Transformers. Yes, Transformers as well. And Armored Core. There's there's like five Mech games coming. Okay, I I think we've uh. I think we've dragged this on long enough this time. Yeah, I think it's good for uh, episode three of Mega Screamcast. Yeah, and I think uh, we'll leave it at that. I mean, we went on a little bit of a off-topic rant, like usual. Yeah, because we totally don't do that. Yeah, well, well, everybody, thanks for joining us, all five of you, and uh, this is Flamingo Dog signing out. And remember to spay or neuter your CDIs. What the fuck?